Well, the complaints filed against Stefan Peno say that he punched and kicked the victim, and then he tried to get rid of a critical piece of evidence. 20-year-old Stefan Peno faces charges of robbery, conspiracy to commit robbery, and falsifying physical evidence that authorities say are connected to the murder of a Nashua man in March. Jonathan Goff has already been arrested and charged with second-degree murder for the stabbing death of Benjamin Markham. Tuesday, prosecutors spoke about Peno's alleged role in that crime. So they both uh, committed a robbery of the victim, uh, Benjamin Markham in this case, uh, and then also that afterwards it's been alleged that he had possession of Mr. Markham's wallet and he uh, f committed the crime of falsifying physical evidence uh, when he tried to destroy that wallet and put it in a dumpster. Peno said he wanted the help of a lawyer before being officially arraigned and having his bail set, so few details about the charges against him were revealed Tuesday. Investigators say an arrest warrant for Peno was issued on April 1st, and he was the U.S. Marshal's Fugitive of the Week on April 13th. Several tips led to his arrest. It was really thanks to the public's help with regards to uh, information getting out there and, and being told that this uh, we should definitely should be checking in Manchester. Uh, we, the officers were directed last night to Merrimack Street. Officials say that Pena was picked up last night on Merrimack Street and he will be back in court with his attorney in Nashua tomorrow morning. Putting live the newsroom, I'm Andy Hirschberger, WMUR News 9.